What's up guys? Today we are going to be talking about how much testosterone you actually produce naturally. So, you know, when guys talk about TRT dosages, a lot of the time they'll say, oh, you know, like uh, 200 milligrams is a therapeutic dosage. That's what you produce naturally. And if you use, you know, less than that, that's uh, less than what you naturally produce. If you actually look at the clinical data, you'll find that. I found this pretty interesting, actually. And it kind of... Uh, relates to ester weight and kind of how the milligram amounts of what you see on a vial of your prescription doesn't necessarily equate to how many milligrams it actually is. And let me elaborate on that. So the, let's see, testosterone is the principal circulating androgen in men. It is secreted primarily by the light, light cells in the testes at a daily production of about six to seven milligrams. So I'll put that uh, link for you guys down below to check out. I actually found a few different uh, references and clinical clinical data co to corroborate this statistic because it seemed uh, like it, a little bit low to me at first. And then, uh, so if you actually count that out, that's like, obviously this is going to vary wildly from individual to individual because the reference range is like, depending on what lab you use, it could be like, 300 nanograms up to a thousand and some are you know like 250 up to 1100 like it's it ranges but in general like 350 to 950 approximately is considered therapeutic amount which is obviously vastly different in terms of milligram amount but in general six to seven milligrams per day so that means weekly you might produce i don't know like well just do the math six times seven is 42 or seven times seven is 49 so between 42 to 49 milligrams per week, which, you know, for a lot of guys using 200 milligrams per week, they're probably thinking, oh, that's BS. There's no way that it's, it's that low. But what a lot of guys don't consider too is that the ester itself, cleaving it from the, uh, the molecule and like freeing up the testosterone to actually be uh, bioavailable in the body, it's uh, that ester accounts for a significant amount of that like milligram amount so for an enanthate i forgot what the actual ester weight is exactly but it's like upwards of like 30 to 40 percent apparently so if you have a vial of test sip for example as your prescription and your weekly dose is let's just say 150 milligrams every um what's a really normal amount like 200 every 10 days is a normal amount for a lot of people or even like 150 per week, 125 per week. Typically, it ranges from 100 to 200 every 7 to 10 days. And uh, without getting sidetracked into injection frequency and all these things that vastly, you know, impact what your blood serum concentrations are going to be at different times of the week. Um, the 200 milligram per milliliter, for example, if you had a test sip, you know, uh, pharmaceutical grade test sip, that 200 milligrams is not actually 200 of straight test. It's like, what's 200? What's 30% of 200? Like, do the math here. <clears throat> like 60 milligrams, I think. Off the top of my head. Times 0.3. 60, yeah. So, so you're actually getting like 140 milligrams per milliliter. And that's probably not even accurate representation of what the ester weight is. That's just going off the top of my head. So, and this goes back to what I've been saying a lot of the time. A lot of times people will think, oh, two, like, it's funny because there's a vastly different um, perspective on hormone levels. You'll have some guys in the camp of 200 is like the bare minimum and that's therapeutic and you need like 250 or 300 and that's TRT. And you have doctors who corroborate this too, which makes... To me, that's kind of baffling. Very, very seldom does somebody actually need 200 milligrams a week to maintain, you know, the equivalent of what would be good endogenous production. Like, usually those guys are running a cycle year round. And I've been saying that for a while. Like, even my 125 a week is pushing it. And when you actually split that shot into seven micro shots to keep more stable blood serum concentrations, and increase free test and decrease the amount of estrogen because you have less of a bolus entering your system at once that's aromatizing, you get levels pretty much in super physiological range from 125 a week, which a lot of guys think is low. And there's obviously the camp of guys who think 125 is high, which I would agree with in most situations for most guys. It's, 
it comes down to when you're pinning it, when you're getting your blood drawn as well to check what your serum levels are at, um, levels of aromatization in the body. But typically, the endogenous production is around, at maximum, 50 milligrams per week, which I found really interesting. So um, that's actually a statistic I was looking for for a while, and I was really glad to come across it. So I wanted to make a video about it. thought you guys would find it interesting. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Interesting statistic because you always have guys who, you know, argue about what like the actual replacement dose is. And, you know, there's a camp of guys who think 10 milligrams of prop a day is like even top end. And, you know, I'm starting to tend to, I'm inclined to get closer to that camp of individuals. Because a lot of times I think when people talk about dosages closer to 125, 150, 200, the ester weight isn't taken into account. And... It's usually guys who pin like a fat amount at once, let their levels spike way above the therapeutic limit, and they go into super physiological range for a few days, and then they slowly crash underneath that until their next shot. So maybe you get your blood drawn during, you know, a trough period, and your levels are, you know, they say you're 850 nanograms, but right after you pinned it, you were at like 1500. You know what I mean? <laughs> so there's a big difference. And ester weight is, uh, Something that should be considered as well. And I found, uh, I found it really interesting. 50 milligrams a week, like, that's not very much whatsoever. But I think it kind of uh, correlates when you see guys who are on 200 a week. Like, they're able to maintain physiques like blatantly super physiological. Like, if you have a, you have a lot of like top bodybuilders who are pros that are like 240 plus who maintain those physiques with just like 200 a week. And I think it's because that 200 a week is actually more than the therapeutic amount personally in most most situations so anyways just uh interesting topic um uh, if you have a you know different opinion or you found something uh an interesting statistic you uh think we should all refer to because obviously trt is uh you know there's obviously a lot of guys on my channel who are probably in a you know similar situations to one another we can benefit from each other's knowledge so if you have a some statistics or, you know, uh, clinical data we can look at that's relevant. That'd be much appreciated. Comment below. Check out my blog, moreplatesmoredates.com. Subscribe there. Hit that like button. Um, check out my Instagram, more at moreplates underscore more dates. I always forget to plug my other social media, but um, it's good to stay connected on all of them because sometimes I post stuff that's not here, obviously. So uh, at moreplates underscore more dates, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, I'm on very infrequently, but I'm there. Uh, add me up. Talk to you guys soon.